All right, so it's been about a week since the Long Island Railroad dropped the very, very, very controversial Long Island Railroad. And I'm about to give you a relatively casual breakdown um, by no means. And if you watch my streams, you'll probably know this by now. But I'm not like a proper full on train nerd. I'm definitely a nerd. But when it comes to the details and the depths in those details, listen, I'm definitely more on the casual kind of side. So big disclaimer from the beginning, take it as that. So, like I said, it's been about a week. We haven't really seen any update with regards to like bug fixes or patches. And I think that's a good sign. And it kind of makes sense because I think I've got about roughly 10 or so hours now in the game. Or should I say in the DLC? And I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really encountered anything. I encountered a funny issue yesterday whereby the acknowledging of the safety systems shouting at me wouldn't do anything and so i'd end up in an emergency application emergency break application which obviously was a little bit of an inconvenience meant that i got to my final destination a little bit late a little bit delayed but to be fair considering i've done all the scenarios done a few runs with all the trains the m9 the m7 and the m3 and that was really the only bug i found i can't really complain so yeah not too bad now i love the route I love the route. Again, there's a controversy. There's a big controversy surrounding Long Island Railroad 2 that's still ongoing. I ain't here for that. I'm not going to touch on that. I'm just going to talk about the route itself as it is. So take it as that. <laughs> so uh, I love the fact that there's branches now because we don't really get routes with branches anymore. So although all in all, I think there's like 50 or so miles or 60 miles of track altogether in that regard. So not doesn't mean that where we had a 60 mile one way from a to b and now we've got a 20 mile branch here and a 15 mile branch there it's not that situation the whole thing with the branches from end to end whatever end you want to do to and from you got that same kind of what we used to um mileage basically but it's obviously nice to have variants in running times and in the route itself sometimes stopping at certain stations sometimes not stopping at certain stations having trains just run by you every which way so often uh, i can't really complain i can't really complain so that's kind of that but with regards to the trains it's good that we've got the m9 and the m7 again taking it as its own thing but i do understand the m7 has been in the game so it's not really a new local obviously there's some changes made to the safety systems and whatnot but realistically it's not a new local so i am bearing that in mind however it does beg the question with southeastern high speed one before the extension before, before train sim world three when when southeastern high speed was released on train sim world two we had the class 465 as a dlc not a problem when when southeastern high speed to released when it was redone and rebuilt with this new extension now for train sim world 3 the class 465 was part of that so i don't understand why the class sorry the m3 is still a dlc and wasn't integrated into the route yes maybe there's a bit more money to be made for dovetail but surely if you've done it before surely they could have just done it again so for me i did find that a little bit weird not something that bugged me a huge amount i have the m3 already from long island railroad one i did buy that quite a while ago but for those who are new to long island railroad or for those who are new to tsw it's a little bit strange i don't know i don't know i don't know let me know what you think about it because um I think uh, I think it would have been maybe a little bit better to throw it in at this point. At this point, you, you, you're already charging full price for a route that, yes, we do have the majority of it in the game already. Whether you want to say it was TOD, whatever number, whatever you want to say there was no branches, and yes, the timetable was absolutely trash, it was in the game regardless. So, uh, anyway, no here for the controversy. Safety systems. Whew. Again, this was also a big controversy according to dovetail the route as we have it could only move forward could only move to release if the safety systems were all on as per mta's license agreement so please i've seen a lot of like on my streams people sending fire to dovetail over the safety system thing 
if it's as they've said there was literally nothing they could do if they didn't uh, if they didn't accommodate requests from uh mta we probably wouldn't have the roots as we do so you know um if you're gonna be upset at all find a way to send your complaints to mta not dovetail now boy oh boy is it annoying having something beep at you every two seconds um i'm someone who plays with safety systems on regardless of what train or location i'm at what route it is regardless of what's going on in the game my safety systems are on all of them all the time so for me i've had experience of atc i've had experience of axi so it's not really a big deal to me although I'm, i was finding some interesting little things that seemed new to me that i hadn't experienced before with those safety systems but for the most part it was cool but for a new person or for someone who just doesn't play with safety systems i feel so sorry for you because there is a learning curve you've got you've got two safety systems at least to contend with to learn and they seem to have quite a bit of depth in in them as well so yeah sucks if you're a new player um i was also meant to cut this bit out of the video basically it's a video that just came out um very very recently i was meant to cut this out but it's all right anyway um <laughs> um yeah if you're a new person i feel sorry for you there's quite the learning curve but literally we wouldn't have the route if it wasn't this way so hopefully we may see some changes to that later on now that there's been a lot of feedback given but don't hold your breath for it scenery i think the scenery's been pretty good i was actually quite surprised pleasantly surprised me i had that when i was using the free cam to look around on release day um on the stream it was just buildings and buildings and buildings and buildings and buildings and houses and houses and houses and streets and streets and streets for what seemed like miles um not something you really see with roots especially dovetail roots so to see that on here was great now i definitely feel like i can feel the performance impact but it's a small cost to to have the actual feeling of being in a city of being in, in a busy somewhat claustrophobic city um and that combined with a solid 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 timetable and just having trains constantly going past you whether they're overtaking you whether you're overtaking them whether trains are going the other way it's just constant and it just beautifully i think creates that atmosphere that you look for in us in such a route such as long island railroad and it really is what the first one should have been now sceneries this is going to be my final point before i conclude again i said it, i told you it was going to be casual i'm not here to tell you the m9 sounds it sounds two tones higher than it should please it's casual we're chilling here okay thanks so with regards to scenarios something i've been very vocal about for a while um i tend to dog on scenarios because a lot of them kind of deserve it however for the last few routes the last few dlcs we've had it seems to be a little bit the trajectory seems good it seems like we're going up a little bit in quality um scenarios are starting to feel like what scenarios should feel like not just a regular a to b run but with bad weather or with some delays but actually dealing with some situations some like fires you know a hurricane like there was uh, there was some form of excitement for once the fire scenario was amazing by the way uh the fire that they had on the london suffragette line the goblin line barking riverside to gospel oak uh the fire that was on that train on the class 66 was trash the fire that was in the scenario i think it was hydro city I'll, I'll, I'll edit it if i'm wrong i think it's hydro city was amazing that was a hell of a fire it felt exciting it made the scenario feel exciting and i think all the scenarios all together nothing really stood out as like trash terrible i.e the uh, that one scenario on five circle but at the same time nothing really stood out as incredible so if i had to give it out of 10 for the scenarios i'd say maybe like a 7.5 and 8 somewhere around there um especially relative to our usual <laughs> our usual offering so yeah and uh like i said that's probably pr pretty much my last main point uh to give a, a conclusion i'd say a very good route honestly so at the very beginning i won't lie um for you who are regulars on the streams you'll know punk who was 
um, who has been dreaming and drooling, waiting for the day to come where he, when he could get his hands on Long Island Railroad. And I remember he asked me what I think of the route. I think it was the following day. And I said, man, you know, uh, I'm, 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 you told me that you enjoy it. I'm happy for you. But for me, I just really don't feel anything from it. And although, again, I don't really feel anything incredible, like an incredible burst of wow regarding Long Island Railroad, I've actually come to enjoy it. It's taken some time. It's taken some sort of bedding in. But honestly, I like it. I'm actually excited to like it. And so would i recommend it at full price no i would say probably 25 dollars 25 pounds so let me say 25 pounds and then you guys can obviously you know um do your currency exchange business but yeah 30 pounds is a little bit too much again i don't want to go too deep into the controversy of long island railroad one but especially as long island railroad one is still there and this isn't really a huge you know extension or change from that i uh, yeah i just don't think it's worth full price however you make your own decision that's just my opinion <laughs> but in saying that do let me know what you think let me know what your um what your thoughts are about the route are you in the camp of people who are refusing to give dovetail a penny for this route until they see a 70 percent sale or are you in the other camp that's just happy to give things a go trying to be optimistic trying to be positive um, either way let me know and if you've liked the video obviously let me know by liking it if you've disliked the video let me know by disliking it but when you do that let me know why you've disliked the video don't just dislike it and then i'm with there left wondering why so yeah and i've mentioned my streams a couple of times here and there during this video i do stream five days a week at least um and at least three hours on those days and the majority of the games we play are train related train sim world 4 included so yeah if there's something that sounds interesting to you join in <laughs> but that will be it for me from me that will be it from me uh have a lovely rest of your day take care and peace out.